Hello, this is Alex again with TNW Firearms. I'm the ASR technician here, and today we will be changing our right-handed ASR or ASR pistol to a left-handed ejection for all you lefties out there. First, we're going to be doing our bolt work, and then we're also going to be switching out our ejector on the lower. All right, so first thing we're going to do to switch this over to a left-handed system is we're going to pound out our retaining roll pin of our bolt head. So as you can see here, we have our bolt head. It doesn't matter what caliber. I also have a 1 16th punch. This is very necessary for this step. We simply place it through the slot where we can see our extractor, make sure it's set properly, and begin to hammer. Now, as you can see, we've removed our extractor, extractor spring, and finally, our roll pin for as a retainer. Now that we've finished our other bulwark, we are going to put in our extractor on the left-handed side. You'll know you're putting it on the correct side because it won't have a stamp on it. The side that's stamped with your caliber is for right-handed shooters. The side that's unstamped is where you're going to want to put your extractor in for a left-handed. Tools we will need are pretty simple. You need a vise. You need a screwdriver. You need a 1 16th drill bit. And of course, you're going to need your extractor spring and your extractor itself. Putting the bolt in your vise sideways and clamped firmly, uh, you may want to use a piece of leather or something else to make sure your finish doesn't rub off. First thing we're going to do is simply drop our spring into the bolt head, into the appropriate slot in the back. Next we're going to take our extractor and slide it all the way in. Next, take your screwdriver and firmly place tension on your extractor. You'll want to check with probably your index finger to make sure the extractor is slid back all the way so the holes will be aligned properly. Next, I slide in my 1 16th drill bit and now it's retained. Okay, now that we have our extractor retained on the unstamped left-hand side, uh, we're going to slide down our 1 16th drill bit. As you can see, we have some room in between the extractor and where we're going to insert our old pin. So we're going to slide just enough so the extractor is still retained, but we can now fit in our old pin. As you can see here, that looks about right. I also still have movement on my extractor so you know we're doing okay. Okay, now that we have seated in our roll pin using a pair of needle nose pliers and preferably a smaller hammer, we're going to continue pounding it in to remove that 1 16th drill bit retainer and to set our extractor once and for all. Okay, now we're going to switch to a punch to finish this process. We're going to want to use a 1 16th punch. Okay, now we have our left-handed extractor inserted into our bolt head. All right, so now we have our left-handed bolt head. It will eject on the proper side for all you left-handed shooters out there. Now we are going to switch out our ejector in positions so that we'll also be left-handed compatible on our lower. Okay, now we are going to switch our ejector from the right-handed side to the left-handed side in our lower, our trigger housing. First thing you're going to need is a punch. You're also going to need a hammer. Now using anything you have at home, 
To get stability on this, you just want to drive the hammer. As you can see, we've removed both of our roll pins. All right, so now simply with using your fingers, take out your ejector and then your bolt stop. Now we're going to switch positions. So the ejector will now be in this slot, the right-handed slot. Or the bolt stop will be on the left-handed side. Now it's simply a matter of putting our roll pins back through. And there you have it, a finished left-handed lower. All right, now we have switched our ejectors successfully out so that it will work well for a left-handed shooter.